Hello and welcome to the All Made Up Podcast with me, Harry Stacchini. Me, Lewis Coleman. And me, Ben Hart. The show where each week a guest joins us in the writer's room to create a story like you and we have never heard before. Not quite knowing what's around the corner or what we'll find along the way, as this podcast is exactly what it says on the tin. It's all made up. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> nice. No creative changes to the all made up no, this year, Ben. slow it down a bit for the year, I think. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's so. it. Yeah, that's how you want to start a year. <laughs> Slow down. I'm doing a lot of things at the start of the year. I don't know. I can't really learn different languages every week. I would like you to do uh, some sort of like seasonal element. So like at the moment we're in winter. So next week you're just a giant snowflake. And then yeah. as it gets into spring. What, like the woke brigade? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm all right. Yeah. I think, what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. I'm with you now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Did you yeah, get I, that? I didn't get that. No, no. It's slow. That slow is. It's yeah. a slow yeah. year. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I think it should be seasonal. I would quite like that. Okay, that's fine. I'll try that. I'll think of what winter would sound like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all made up. Um, but how are we all doing, boys? Are we okay? I'm good, sir. I'm good. Are we going to introduce Man Yunu sitting on the couch right there? Yeah. I think we should. Yeah. Uh, for those that have already seen, our guest for today is uh, once on the podcast before mm-hmm. and good friend of ours and comedian. That's a long name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Michael Mannion! <laughs> Um, I'll do that again. No, uh, no, I like that. I just yeah, keep yeah, it as is. I, I just yeah, I, I spoke over you, mate. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, um, I spoke under you. I think that was yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> where you want to stay. All right. right. <laughs> what, what, what a line that is! What a submissive line that is! I'm sorry, I spoke under you. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that is some like yeah, I spoke under you. Then I'm sorry. No, no, no. But he was going for a big shout, and I was like, I, I've got a Greek name because I had a really long name. It wasn't even ah, that good of a joke. Right. Yeah, yeah. You didn't get that one either. Actually. No, no. You knew for. I know, cool, you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but thank you very much for coming on the podcast. No worries. Thank you for having me. Um, obviously, you've been on, you were on, I think, episode eight or seven, something like that. Yeah. Back, old, back yeah. in the days. Mm. We've come a long way since then, man. Yeah. You were, you were the first first person story, weren't you? Yes, You yes, did it no, from I your was. own perspective, yeah. As, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You knew the character. Yeah. Some, some <laughs> what was it called? Don Day Ice Cream. What was his yeah. name? <laughs> so uh, uh, Arnie, Arnie. Sam Prez or something? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sam, yeah. Sam Prez. Yeah. Sam Prez. He had a shit in his kettle. Well, 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 yes, golf yes, course. yes. Yeah. It was all very brew themed. <laughs> yeah. He had a tea bag in, in, in his ass and he had someone had shat in his kettle. It was all, Freud would have a field day yeah. with that man. <laughs> but, um, it was a it was it was a good one. I remember that. Mm. Um, and La Bamba was the uh, was the the the, tr- the track that went along. Yeah, yeah. Uh, great song. The, was it La Bamba? No, ba- Bambalea. That was it, not La Bamba. Yeah, uh, Bambalea um, by the Gypsy Kings. Yeah, because La Bamba's. Yeah. Which is the first I film. think he went. Ba-la-la-la-la. Was it start with the Balala or is it? It's La 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 Bamba. Yeah, it's La La. I'm so slow today. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll get his sense in. You've yeah. all got the wrong words. Let's start completely from scratch. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> what I want to bring up is obviously I played on Sunday comedians football for the first time. Oh, yes. yes. Yeah. It was uh, horrendous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Michael, <laughs> Harry came. You was at. No, you was. I was coming back. I was coming back from um, Scotland. Yeah, yeah. He was coming back from Scotland. Yeah, oh at, my god, Wigan train station. That was it. Yeah, yeah. Michael Mannion, what an engine you've got on you, by the yeah. way. All engine, no skill. That's the <laughs> Jason yeah. Park without the talent. I, I said that. <laughs> I said he's like Jason Park. Um, I could not believe it. I, I was like, he's just not stopping this lad. You're tenacious on a pitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But also, it was horrendous chasing you. I counted the number of times that I. I never got the ball off you. <laughs> Actually, no, I think it did. Maybe I did no, once you or did, twice. You did, yeah. you did, but yeah. I didn't get it off you. I just poked it away from you. Yeah. Yeah. That was yeah. the best I could manage. Good he was, close control. Oh, unbelievable. He <laughs> yeah. just, you just go near him. He just kind of seems to like shuffle it around yeah. his feet. And it's like, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Give him the ball. Well, I, has I, it not told you you played for United? <laughs> well, I, I said to people, is that this motherfucker's definitely yeah. like played under 17s or yeah. something. Yeah, he spoke under B a few times. Um, yeah. but, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I played football with Lewis ages ago, right? And he took me with his mates to go and play. And uh, he was like, it's a decent team. Seven, seven aside, I think it is. Six aside. Six aside, yeah. 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 And it's like, um, you play That's like enough. the length of a, width of a pitch. Um, and yeah, they're playing like a decent, decent standard. Uh, and I've not played football in ages, right? So I, I show up and I, I managed to score a goal, right? Top corner, good finish, wasn't it? I celebrated probably too much, right? Um, <laughs> right. Because I was like, yes! And then turned around <laughs> and everyone's just jogging back to their positions, right? I'm expecting to like be in the corner flag and all the rest of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um, Lewis, obviously very close at keeping the ball to his feet. This lad was like just clipping him. And Lewis is like moving the ball, but like the guy's there, just moving the ball. And then eventually... <laughs> 
before he even makes a pass, just pushes the guy in the chest and goes, well, you fuck off. <laughs> and I've never seen that from him, right? And yeah. I was like, so to the side, like, all right, mate. <laughs> it was good. It was good. Still still yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, but it was good. It was good. Never done it before. And I enjoyed it. Yeah, I, I was. I said to Lou before, as I said, the standard can be very hit and miss. I thought it was actually fairly competitive. On, I thought it was a good game. Yeah, but, but the context is, though, it was four versus five. And it was arguably the four best people versus the Mighty Ducks. That was basically <laughs> yeah. what was going on. But you, you, you beat us. Yeah, yeah, but I think with four on five is that the 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 last the last that we play ninety minutes the last twenty the gas goes on the oh, floor yeah. like you can't you, no one can sustain yeah um, um, Harry, but, Harry especially yeah I mean I was goose <laughs> yeah. I was goose you know what I mean <laughs> I was um, I was saying Ben he needs to start using the the hair scrubbing thing that we got him you know like the hair yeah. products because he hit his ankle at one point and took a knee and I I had a good bird's eye view of his yeah, nest. Yeah. You're then, blinded by the reflection. And I was like, get that scrubby used boy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> have you got the hair adding spray? We need to I've that not one. used that yet, mate. I can't. Um, well, make, make sure I'm there. At Christmas, we got each other presents. Yeah. yeah. Like, obviously, it was like Secret Santa, but we all knew we was getting each other one. Yeah. And both of us got him her products for his head. Right. Uh, oh, well, you would think so, wouldn't you, if you had. Um, yeah. Next, if the pod goes viral, we're going to sing as a turkey. But it was one of them, do you know the kits that you see online where it's like, Scrubbers or whatever, but it's like the the hair spray, yeah. disguise spray. Disguise spray. Called. Have you seen <laughs> right, that? Okay. Yeah. That's quite popular now, that. Yeah. Ron Seal. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Imagine you spray it on and it's just like a, a glasses and moustache appear, disguise spray. Yeah. All oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. It's too slow for you, that one. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, it's. Uh, I appreciate you bringing that up, mate. Appreciate oh, sorry, that. mate. Yeah, yeah. It's New Year, New why, Year. Why, why did you not bring up the, the emphatic finishes that I had? You know what I mean? What a left foot, by the way. He does. He does have a very good left foot. Yeah. No right yeah. foot. Mm. But left foot. Left foot was unreal. I just kept smelling Chinese all the way through it. I, I, you I, smell I, the Chinese restaurant? No, yeah, yeah, no, I did. Yeah, I got that on the way in. I was like, yeah, that's. Uh, Every time I like took somebody on, I was like, wow. Like, I, just got I a was hit so of... stressed then. I thought you were going to make a really bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh no. <laughs> to be honest, for a moment, it did flash before my eyes. Yeah. Like, what's he talking, like, what's about? He talking about? And then about, I was yeah. like, oh no, on the way in, I remember smelling it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, shit. you're like, this is it. Podcast over. 36 was a good run. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, there was like this smell of Chinese restaurant all the way through the game. Was and it? It was, yeah. yeah, it just kept you taking get it in, Yeah, whiffs, wouldn't you? Yeah, no, yeah. I, as, you got as, it especially when you're on the wing. In. I'm sorry. <laughs> what did you say? I said you got it especially when you're on the wing. Oh. Yeah, I, th- I thought that was Chinese wings. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. spoke yeah, over you. Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't got it. <laughs> we, we, we weren't slow on that. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Come on, you got to get with me. How are your uh, resolutions going, by the way? Resolution. Oh, you know what, Mike? Did you set a resolution? Yeah, just a uh, resolution this year. Just to not be such a lazy shit. That's <laughs> basically oh, really? the approach to the year. Yeah. 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 I think that was uh, it, anything else or just not being a lazy shit? Yeah, just not being a lazy shit. How do, how do you quantify that? Is yeah. there a scale? Like, um, is there... I suppose when you just kind of look at yourself <laughs> in your mind's eye and you go, you're being a lazy shit, you know? And yeah. it's like, yeah. yeah, I am. Right, okay, get on with it then. Yeah. Um, Have you broke it? No, I've been very good so far. We're only on day four. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so is it just doing something every day? Pretty much, yeah. So yeah. What, 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 you play football? Uh, well, it's just like getting on with work. Right, like the house is never tidy, uh, never messy at the moment. So it's just that kind of. Yeah, like, I'll be good. I imagine you being a very tidy person to live with. Yeah, but it's when you, it's it's when I'm when I was living on my own, it was dead simple. As soon as you're like in a relationship or you've got a bunch of housemates, the kitchen just becomes a bomb site in like yeah. two seconds. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you, you know, you get really into cooking, and it's like oh, I've used every utensil. Whoops! <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. it's going to taste amazing. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why do you air fryer? We, yeah, we were talking about air fryers before. Have you got an air fryer? No, I used to have one at my house, but they left. So the person who owned <laughs> it took it. <laughs> right, yeah. They're not sentient. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> They're not just going to come in and go <laughs> on your fryer. head. I'm <laughs> out. <laughs> Maybe a bit air fryer. Yeah. I'm moving my partner. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, um, no, we were talking about it before, and it's like before I got an air fryer. Obviously, you heard everyone uh, uh, hear everyone talking about air fryers. It's like fucking, I get a personality. Like it's fine, but then you get an air fryer, <laughs> and then you're like, wow, I can't stop talking about yeah, this. This yeah. is mm. unreal. Uh, yeah, I was talking about the uh, the stuffed chicken before, weren't I? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. It's bit, it's bit it's of chicken. Cut it in half, right? Mm. Stuff but, it. Like stuff it. Yeah. <laughs> Red pesto. Just spread that on back of a spoon. That'll work. And then. That's what I used. Use the spoon. Oh, right. I was, I was, oh, I was yeah. like, oh. Yeah, oh, right. I was like, like an oh face. Yeah, yeah. So I spread the red pesto over the chicken breast. And then you want 
I got some chorizo slices, chorizo from uh, Lidl. Yeah. 99p. Put them on top. Slices, not even like a full. No, it was. It wasn't like a thick sausage one. No, okay. it was. Just, I know, cheap version, cheaper. Yeah. No, it's easier to get onto a piece of chicken, though, isn't it? That's it. Yeah, yeah. Mozzarella ball. <laughs> Mozzarella ball. Yeah. Cut yeah. the corner off with a piece of scissors. Just drain that. Drain oh. that as long as that needs to. Take. All over the chicken. <laughs> 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 yeah, marinade it. Just better garnish yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's broken the air fryer. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's yeah. full of mozzarella yeah. water. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was funny. Funny. Yeah, that was good. Pop that down on a chopping board. I used a butter knife for this. Did you? Yeah. No it. adult <laughs> available. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have the cord. <laughs> And just pop that on chicken, and then you just sort of fold it back over. Yeah. Use a bit of strength. And then <laughs> it's supposed to be Cajun powder uh, seasoning, but I use smoked paprika instead. Air fryer, 17 minutes, 200 degrees. Perfection. Oh, yeah, it was all right. I did a similar thing, but I wrapped it into it, so the chicken, and then wrapped it in foil, but put it in the air fryer. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. That was nice. Nice. Was that uh, better? Uh, kept the moisture in more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. What I well, obviously, yours was swimming. Yeah. 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 Sorry, I forgot It's essentially that. boiled yours, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, like no, that. your New Year's resolution's going. Mine's going quite well, actually. Go on, go on. How's yours going? Tell so us what was Mine was to be more healthy, wasn't it? I've got to run a 10K in March. I've actually not been for a run since, well, it was three days ago. Yeah. Right. But I've been pretty busy, but I've been eating healthier. Good man. I've had two salads this year, which is 100% more than last year. Right. So <laughs> even if I stop now, I'm a success. <laughs> so That's very good. By the time I'm seventy, I'll be quite healthy by the end of January. J- just picking out, picking out the hundred percent more than last year. So you had two salads this year, and that's one hundred percent more than last year. So how many did you have last year? One. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I would just that works on it. Yeah. I would just try, I've, I've, if you have yeah. one salad and you have, and you have two and you have two this year, hundred percent increases. It, yeah. 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 You've increased it by one hundred percent. Right. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm, like, I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna have a salad tomorrow. I'm gonna. By the time you see me, I'll be some mad figures. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like crypto figures. Yeah. Eight thousand <laughs> percent. Yeah. Eight thousand percent <laughs> increase. Billion in salad percent. Intake. Yeah, that's what I mean. I'd love. I'd love it for that to be. You quantify every bit of food you have on that margin. Just like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, my my beer intake's gone up by yeah. eighteen thousand <laughs> percent. My chippy one's really struggling though. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got to invest though in your food, don't you? Yeah. No, no, but yeah, was, I've, yeah, I've been doing pretty well. I've yeah, not was, been eating bad. Yeah, I've been. Uh, well, my, my resolutions were getting fitter, so did a little forty-five minute run today, oh, which no. was hellish, and then did some running yesterday, day before that, and day before that, rest day tomorrow. Mm. But I also wanted to be. What are you giggling at there? Are you? <laughs> I just, I, I'm listening to what you're saying, but I'm going to say what my New Year's resolution is, and already know what you're going to fucking say. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, what's yours? I've started playing my guitar again. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Um, and just for those, for the new listeners, that Harry put a post on earlier last year. Is it, was it an actual post or was it a story? It, it might have been a story. And it yeah. was on his guitar and the caption whilst they were playing was, <laughs> it weren't. Getting back into this. <laughs> it weren't. I think it was getting the hang, hang of it again. Is that what? Like that. Best thing was though, he could have set up his phone because it was from above. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, so mate, it was, it was in front of me. It was like, I, met, I was on the edge of my bed. I think I was playing. <laughs> Uh, uh, the, a national tune but like I used to play guitar when I was younger and then I stopped and it's one of them it's like you just just 10 minutes a day 10 minutes a day yeah. Yeah. so I've, I've like picked yeah, it up yeah. again and um, yeah I just like me with my juggling yeah 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 it's got the same pull <laughs> it's got the same pull for women juggling yeah. <laughs> yeah. guitar playing does it's this oh look at that I'm Four a, balls. I make a beat with the like the timing with, you know like on my hands when the balls yeah. hit in my hands it creates that little bit of percussion mm. I've timed that so it's like music now we can start a band yeah well, yeah, it's going all right. Um, so you're just not being a lazy shit. Yeah. You're eating less shit. What's yeah. the laziest thing you've ever done, Michael? What is the laziest thing you've ever done? Oh, I don't know. What I mean, lazy things do you do? Well, I don't know. I suppose... Uh, nah, I don't, you know, when you just get to the end of the day and it's like, oh, what was accomplished? And it's like, I watched a show and that was it. Do you know what I mean? It's just yeah. Less, right. just do you ever try and, in your head, try and like, say, by watching this show, I've got something from it? You know what I mean? No. Like, or do you just feel like shit after it every time? No. As in, like, you're trying to justify it in your head, like, well, I'm sure. I, yeah, like, oh no, this is this is actually beneficial that I watch this show. I just come on a Monday. That's all I do. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, no, I'm. I, I, you I, keep looking at that time. Yeah, and you're scared. I, 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 no, I'm not, I'm not scared. I'm looking at it because relaxing, right? I feel very guilty relaxing if I've not yeah. if I've not if I've not earned it. Mm-hmm. So, like, I, it, <laughs> this is a step into my fucking head, right? <laughs> I'll say, yeah. Uh, I in the morning I like I'll have things I'm like routine like I'll get this done and then if I've got a task to do 
I box all three of them off, whatever. Mm. And then in the afternoon, I've like I've earned the time for watching a bit of telly or something like that. Right. Yeah. Um. But yeah, if I watch something, I'm not thinking I'm getting something from this. If I've not done anything, I'm watching it. I just think you wanker. <laughs> like, stop it. Maybe we can stop all get it. together and get you some like CB, CBT therapy. Yeah, yeah. Is that what it's called? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It teaches you. How to that's 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 how my yeah. mind works. No, there's a really good book. This isn't podcast really, but it's uh, <laughs> it's called How to Be an A Class Student. It's by a guy called Cal Newport, and oh, it's yeah. just like I read it and I was like, oh my god, I fucked up like all my education and my degree because I was just acting like a student without actually learning anything. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. He just has these kind of steps and processes and the way you just break down a day, and it's like if you just do that every day, yeah. all the all the shit yeah. just gets done. I, and it's I, really nice. It's a really that good sounds feeling. like a you book. I'd, I'd, I'd definitely I'd read that one hundred percent. I'd read that. I yeah. think though, it's, not it's about a Russia, cumulative. It, everything compounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. like you you know you just do zero point one percent and it just it'll compound it'll compound mm-hmm. it'll compound and then by the end of a week. You know, like no one's sitting down to write eight hours a day. You just not, you know. No. But if you do an hour, yeah, that's seven hours a week. You've well, done. Luke Littler, obviously, just on topic, he said he got asked how much do you practice. He went, I just do half an hour a day. That's all as a practice. He got school, hey. eh? So, well, yeah. But yeah. you would think, you would think, as a as a world champion, <laughs> yeah, you would yeah. think, oh, they must be absolutely. And it's like, no, I just do half an hour a day. And if that's enough for him, that's yeah. enough. For yeah. Just get your pen to paper. What are you doing for the rest of the day, Luke? Mm. Never you mind. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, shall, we, shall we get into it? I think we should. Yeah. Right, yeah. Sh- let's get into a story. Right, so this is going to be all made up with Michael Mannion. Enjoy. It's all made up, baby. And we are back for the all made up story with Michael Mannion. So, Michael, you've done the dance before, but I'll uh, talk you through the steps again. Mm-hmm. So, in front of you, you have got a green pot, a yellow pot and a red pot. The yeah. green pot is going to be the start of our story. The mm-hmm. red pot is going to be the end. Yeah. And then the yellow one's going to be little curveballs, swerve balls in between. Mm-hmm. Okay. But before we even get into that, we're going to create a story. We're going to create a character. Uh-huh. Uh, so what would you like the character's name for today to be? Libby Phoenix. That is <laughs> a strong <laughs> name. <laughs> that is so yeah. good. Go I did, is this pre-planned or did it just come out? No, no, I, I just did it at the moment. Oh, I've already yeah. put myself into a corner. Libby <laughs> Phoenix. I, know, I think that's a good name. She sounds like a singer. I'm not saying she is, but it's sound like it's I would, you'd buy tickets to go and watch Libby Phoenix. Oh, yeah. yeah. Whatever she's doing. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There you go. Circus, a, a circus performer. Yeah. Um, so, so, how old is Libby? 28. All oh, right, prime. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what a weird, no, what a weird <laughs> phrase. Yeah. Oh, my God. Is, is she attractive? That's a yeah, that's, 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 question. That's, no, 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 that's, no, that's no. a prime number, isn't it, Harry? Yeah, yeah. That's what you meant. I don't <laughs> what I mean is it's like you're in the prime of your life. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, you are. It's, like, different, it's different for everybody. Yeah. I think... I've already hit my prime. I hit my prime when I was like nine. <laughs> I, everything's been downhill since then. Mine was 10. I won the Lancashire Market Under 11's Line Dancing Championships. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was... That it, was... Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was... I'm mam. still climbing me, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I won>. um, <laughs> you passed it, are you? Yeah, no, it's 29. 49, <laughs> you passed your um, prime. Uh, no, yeah. so she's, 20, she's 28. 28, Where yeah. about is she from, Libby? Uh, she's from Hebden Bridge. Okay. Oh, right. Nice. Nice okay. World. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice theatre, though. Yeah, yeah, nice gig there. Yeah, Clems performed there at the Hebden Bridge Little Theatre. Sure. Uh, performed Skank there. It was a good, great crowd. Great crowd. And what does Libby do? Libby is, uh, she's she's a yoga teacher. Ooh. Whoa. This, uh, this is... Very close whoa. to Clem. <laughs> Clem's yeah. a yoga teacher. Yeah. Is, yeah. She called, is she called yeah, Libby yeah. Phoenix? Is that a yeah, alter ego? Yeah, yeah, that's who she um, delivers classes as, Libby Phoenix. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but right, so she's a yoga teacher, Hebden Bridge, yeah. uh, 28 years old, in mm-hmm. a prime. To yeah. in, in, uh, and she's yeah. a yoga teacher as well supple uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you're a creep um, <laughs> is she a good yoga teacher is she bad is she, does she have many people attending um, she's she's really good yeah yeah she's very yeah. good at her job right okay yeah. how long has she been yoga ing for uh, she went away to India when she was like 23 that's when she learned it oh no nice. right like, yeah, like all the courses yeah yeah and is she like it should be like a big deal in Hebden Bridge? Obviously, it's not a massive place, is it? So, like, is she like um, the biggest yoga class there? She runs. She no, she tends to commute to Manchester to run right. like her classes okay. and stuff. So, yeah. does she have her own practice? Like, is it an ashram? Is that what it's called? Ashtanga. She does. Right. She can do ashtanga. No, no, like a yoga. Is it a, a ashram where you learn? I think like? that's where. You, yeah, it's like. A, is that oh, I don't know. I, yeah, I've yeah, never do heard like, they have like a dojo. You know. What right. I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. She's a yoga <laughs> studio. She got a yoga studio. Yeah, yeah. She runs. She runs like a certain number of classes at All a right, space. Okay, yeah. Yeah. okay, love her. Nice. Yeah, yeah. And who does she live with? Lives on her own. Lives her, on her own. Her, her and her cat. What's her cat called? 
Lewis. It's not Lewis, right? It's not going to. Uh, the cat's really bendy. <laughs> yeah, yeah stick to later, do yoga as well. Uh, is the cat called Lewis? I like that. Yeah. No, it's called Vikram. Vikram? Yeah, Vikram, Vikram. the cat. Ah, so yeah. like, a bit like Vikram yoga. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just thought of the guy at the office, you know, when Michael Scott <laughs> yeah. ends up working with the call yeah, centre. The best salesman of all time. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Right, okay, so we've got Vikram the cat. Uh, she's commuting there. Mm. Does she speak to her parents? Do her parents live in Hedden Bridge? Where are they? Where are they in this? No, she, her parents live down south. She moved up. Moved okay. up. Oh, nice. Any, go on. Is she looking for love? Um, what are you asking? <laughs> I yeah. Let's say she is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, is there any any potentials on the horizon? No, men are a lot of trouble. That's her. That's yeah. Her, her oh, so she's been burnt in the past. I think so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. She's Sounds like my that's life fine. three years ago. <laughs> the other <laughs> teacher <laughs> been in the past and got a cat. Um, what I was going to say, is she hoping the the right person walks through her sort of yoga door? You know what I mean? Like in terms of like finding someone mm. to spend the rest of her life with or a new relationship, is she on the apps or is she thinking, no, someone's going to come to one of my yoga classes and we're just going to hit it off and yeah. it's going to be very... Sex in the city. I really want to um, share my mat yeah. with you. I well, think yeah. she's. Uh, I think she is on the apps, but she doesn't really use them a lot. Oh, right. She is looking for someone. Right. They have to very much walk into her life, kind of thing. And is she looking for someone? Because uh, people have like contrast themselves. Don't they? Is she looking for someone that's like her, like quite spiritual? Or is she like is her type? Maybe like the complete opposite, because yeah, opposite attracts, don't they? Yeah, like a, or a builder or something like that. You know, like something that isn't into yoga. I'm not yeah. saying builders can't be into yoga, by the way. Anyone listening, but. <laughs> Absolutely flexible builders. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Loads of builders like that, just with their hand next to the form, yeah. thinking, say one more word, Ben. <laughs> say one more. Yeah. Fucking yeah. Word. What, are the, what are the builders holding back his mate from getting to the form? <laughs> I can't believe he said that. Yeah. Keep it, <laughs> keeping his seatbelt clipped yeah. in. Yeah. <laughs> but he sat, he sat on the seat like. Yeah. Just the struggle of his tools on his belt. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, anyway, right. I like the idea of a falling for a builder. I think that maybe. might be quite. Might yeah, be quite maybe that's idea. a type because. Yeah, rough and ready. Mm. Um, and just quickly, uh, is there anything that... So we've got a job, we've got a love life. I'm, yeah. I'm thinking, like, has is, is she got anything that's kind of like quite noticeable about her in terms of like a bad habit or like anything she's quite strong feelings on? I think despite her being a yoga teacher, she's actually quite toxic. Ooh. <laughs> right, <laughs> that's okay. The, yeah. She's inside the mindfulness so that she can't be spotted for all her bad behaviour. Yeah, uh, maybe that's a bit too much. Go. Right. I like that. So <laughs> y- yoga's yoga's massive, like on like the Instagram and TikTok sort of world. Now, yeah. is she one of them who sort of puts videos online of her doing her practice and like is like trying to send out positive messages, but she doesn't actually follow all the messages that I, she sends out? Yeah, I can imagine she does yeah. quite well on TikTok. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, yeah. I, I listen to some of that. The I like day. the idea of being a fucking bitch. Yeah, moving people out of pictures. Like, yeah. oh, sorry, you don't look like you do yoga. Can you get mm. out of the picture, please. Yeah, you know stuff like that for Instagram. Go on, Harry. I was listening to something the other day about uh, influencers, right, and how like uh, the job of an influencer. Obviously, you've got like ones that have hundreds of thousands of followers, but then you've got some that have like four or five thousand that are, are like faking it until they make it. Mm-hmm. And the idea of like the corner of their bedroom being a studio in a sense of like yeah. what they want it to look like, and then the rest of it, so there's like holes in the plaster or whatever, there's dinner plates yeah, everywhere. Yeah. So, like, is that kind of the life that she's living? She's trying to create this. Yeah, I, I, I think that she's probably like a child of privilege. So she okay, doesn't, okay. she's just kind of always had it easy, which is why she can kind of. Swan yeah. off and learn yoga and this and that and the, do you know what I mean? Right. Okay, yeah. Of... I like the idea because obviously you said that she lives in Hebden Bridge, mm-hmm. but she commutes to Manchester. Yeah. Mm. So I imagine that there's that sort of like um, trying to be environmentally yeah. conscious, but at the same time she's like yeah, she w- driving a diesel to was, Manchester. I was, was going <laughs> to say if she's privileged, she's been in, in to India. She goes on like an elephant. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Into yeah. Manchester. Look how long that would take from yeah. Hebden Bridge? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I seen, I seen something in, online, and I think it was like somewhere in Asia, and it was like imagine like a massive factory, but there was like loads of little tiny rooms, and in each room there was like um, a phone which was filming a business, you know, like, and it was specifically yeah. for TikTok, like wow. TikTok and social media. So it was like you went in one room, and then like five yards down the road, it was something that looked completely different, but oh, advertising really? for a different company. So it was like it was bizarre. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah, wow. TikTok shops is in Manchester, you know. That's where it's, that's where it's based. Oh, that's is it? Company, yeah, yeah. It used to be well, my old job. It used to be in the bottom floor of there. All oh, right. Well, this this yeah. could end up coming into the story. Is, yeah. Does she advertise something on TikTok? Just we don't know. One final question: What is her dream? What does she want out of like life? Does she want to have her own yoga practice? Yeah. And what what does she want? 
Mm. Or does she not know what? I think... Oh, sorry, go on. I think the whole move to Hebden Bridge and get out of the city and live at my own pace is that she doesn't really know what she wants okay. right now and she's working it out. Yeah, but her going off the image that, like, I know exactly who I am, what yes. my life entails, and yeah. what your life should entail. <laughs> and it's just like, you're vapid. <laughs> uh, right, cool. Right, so, let's, right. Uh, right. let's get back to the story. <laughs> so, so, pick up one of the green ones, Michael. All right. And where the blank is, you are going to say Libby. Libby loved attending battle reenactments whenever they could. Okay. <laughs> right, okay. And then what's the final sentence? The red one. They knew it was kill or be killed. <laughs> that's, that's, that's brilliant. Yeah, so like Libby that. loved attending battle reenactments yeah. when, but does it say whenever when? she could? Whenever they could. Yeah. Whenever they could. Yeah. It's called LARPing, isn't it? Mm. It's what? LARPing is the name of it, isn't it? Is it? That sounds uh, like something the doctor yeah, would say well, you've got. I don't know. Like Live at. at Role, There's ride, li, live action and role play or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is LARPing. But I don't know if it's like, are these... Um, I think LARPing is like extended almost Dungeons and Dragons, isn't it? Like you can make up any old shit right. and you yeah. can be a paladin and hit people. And like this podcast. And then whereas Battle Reenactments <laughs> is like, we're going to do... <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're going we're gonna to do like Normandy or so, uh, we're going to do like uh, the Battle of Hastings, for example. Yeah, so like right. historically accurate ones. Just to, yeah, yeah, yeah. They are the full... Well, which one is... Is there a particular battle that she really loves to reenact or is it she just goes to any of them? Could you just imagine doing one of them, but like be one of the people to die first? <laughs> I mean, to lie yeah. there for like Took four hours. Three hours to get there. Mm. You've full makeup and then, yeah, you just. <laughs> you die first. <laughs> yeah. What I'm thinking <laughs> is. It's done, Ben. <laughs> it, like, what, like I said, what type of reenactment does she do? Is it any. Are they. Or does she sort of employ a yoga skills like that, a bendiness? Right. I, think, I think we put a period of history on the battle she's attending. So whether it be like medieval right or uh, is it like 17th century is it 18th century you know is it is it like war of the roses you know what i mean i think it's war of the roses right. yeah. Okay. Yeah. so like yeah. maybe she's, she's um she's pretending to be like one of uh cromwell was in yorkshire wasn't he? um oh, so no. no i think you're thinking of the civil war i think you're confusing the two it was the, it was oh yeah, 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 cromwell's yeah civil yeah. war war right. of the roses it was is the tudors uh, and the yeah, Lancaster yeah. in yours yeah. yeah right you well, know nothing you you yeah, came yeah. with such authority <laughs> no, no, because yeah, yeah. it's fucking Cromwell. Yeah. He was he was a he was a Protestant, wasn't he, Oliver Cromwell? Was and he? Uh, was he? Yeah, he was. Oh, he right. was. Yeah, yeah, I just want to fact check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, um, Catholics, isn't he? Um, so yeah, we're going War of the Roses. Mm. Right. Okay. Sweet. What year is that off the top of your head? Uh, War of the Roses will be pre-Tudor, so that's fifteen hundreds. I think it's fourteen hundreds. It all got a bit rocky. Okay. Yeah, right. Think. Sweet. So they're kicking off. So she's turning up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's what I just grabbed it back then. <laughs> oh, he's kicking off. Get back yeah. over to side of Ben Hines. Duke of York. Oh, he said our oh, roses are shit. How dare yeah. he? Yeah. <laughs> um, and she, she attends dressed as, I'm guessing, a knight. Well, I think I we've got it. Sorry, go on, Michael. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I think sometimes people just literally go and just watch like people who've trained to do it. Well, Does it say attend or take part? Or like take attending. Part? Yeah, what, she what, likes attending. You know, she's just a fan of them. Well, yeah. I, I watched a thing about the War of the Roses recently, and I can't remember her name. It was a, it was a, a Spanish. It was one of the wives of the, the leads of the, the War of the Roses. She's like a famous like person in feminist history because she like held famously held the house together throughout this throughout that time, and she's like one of the first sort of female leaders that became of that. Time. I, I can't think of her name. But Margaret of Anjou, maybe something like that. But she was like famous for being incredibly strong throughout the, the battle. But I don't think she'd be in the battle. Well, here, it, which it, is here's a, one. Here's one. Here's one. Thinking so. Do these battle reenactments go on tour? Or is it just like the same people doing it at the same place all the time? Or do they go... Because what I'm thinking is, maybe the reason she goes to watch battle reenactments is because there's someone in it who she really likes the look of. Yeah. That's a shout. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So mm. it's more of like a crush on someone. And it's like... Yeah. Potentially. Okay, I think where I landed on it is that I think that she likes going to them because her dad took her to them. When she was ah. little. Right, okay. Because okay. uh, the thing is, there's not going to be as much opportunity up yeah. north. A lot of the roses, more of the roses shit happened down south. Yeah. But, you know, that's... M maybe, maybe, maybe she always liked doing, going to them with her dad and seeing all the nights and everything and this, that, the other. And uh, there's one up north that she's going to go to after, like, she's not been for, like, 10 years or something. What about, what about then? She hasn't been to him for years. Mm -hmm. She hasn't been to him for years. Um, before she went to India. Uh, and... A dad, a dad dies, a dad dies, and she's like in a battle oh. reenactment. 
<laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> but I was just Straight thinking. Arrow. I was just thinking. <laughs> she spent so much time away from her family because they don't live close by, mm. and her dad dies, and she's like, "Oh, I just want to try and like rekindle yeah. that yeah. sort of memory I yeah. had with my dad." So I better go to yeah, like battle that. reenactments, mm. yeah. and if she meets someone there, yeah. maybe. Yeah. I mean, that gets like hypothermia lying on the floor because he's in the first wave of dying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he died doing what he loves. Yeah, he's committed. Yeah. yeah, people are thinking, no, you can get up now, pal. It's finished. <laughs> Come he's on, mate. Reg, Reg, are you okay, yeah. Reg? Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> he is great. Yeah. Yeah, imagine that. Just uh, like thinking that they are pretending, but they've been dead for ages. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just I think. I think that I think that she just likes watching men fight. I think right. that's that's an angle in on her. Yeah. That, that, okay. That, that, that kind of feeds into her toxicity. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that mean? yeah. Men uh, fighting yeah. over her as she's well. Some girls like that, don't they? She goes out clubbing, but always stands near bouncer. He's like, "You coming in?" She's like, "No, I'm just waiting for to see if anything happens, pal." <laughs> like, oh, just right. for scraps outside. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, maybe she's like plays boys off in the club, and that she likes to get them to fight with yeah, each other. Yeah, yeah. Sort of like thing. Yeah, yeah. Go Feeds on, Harry. Go. Um, yeah, I was just gonna say she obviously she's she's not a very nice person from what I can gather. Yeah, um, no, she's a problem. Yeah, uh, <laughs> she's a problem <laughs> character. Like yeah. it's not. Yeah, you go to a yoga class, and she's you know it's like it's kind of competitive. Yeah, so who can do the pose the best? Yeah, yeah. No yeah. one feels better unless you're really good at it. Okay, yeah, kind of vibe. She's like, oh, you'd be good at dance, so, dog. So mm. why 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 don't we have her as like she goes to one of these battle reenactments, right? Mm. And then someone who she's kind of like caught a glimpse at attends one of her yoga classes. Okay, you know what I yeah. mean. And I feel like she's a bit like. Weren't you cavalry the other week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, my <laughs> <laughs> What then, What about if instead, if you were going down the toxic route, people, she, couples come to like yoga classes. Mm-hmm. So if there's any couples who ever come, she starts doing like the pauses very close to like the partner. Oh. You know what I mean? And she's trying to create jealousy amongst all <laughs> the other. Have you ever seen Couples Retreat? No, 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 no. There's a scene in yeah. that where all these couples basically go to an island and it's like a therapy island and the yoga teacher oh, is yeah, exactly yeah, that. Yeah, and he's yeah, like, yeah. good encouragement. Yeah. He's like yeah. getting behind all the women and he goes, I'm giving you my energy. And he's like, boom, <laughs> boom, <laughs> boom. I think, I think she could be wanting <laughs> to like, yeah, like create a bit of toxicity yeah, okay, at the yeah. end of your relationships that. when they come to yoga. But right. she's like, I'm just- What if she goes to a battery enactment, right? Yeah. Sees a guy who's like unbelievable and she's like, oh God. I like him, but like inside, I want to ruin him, mm-hmm. right? She goes across and chats to him, uh, and he's she's like flirting with him a bit, right? She likes him, but I want to ruin. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's that's a very yeah. different meanings. I, that I, 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 sometimes I, I, I it's think, a, I think I could say that it means something very different. <laughs> a, no, no, no. She, okay, right. I'm just making it clear what you're talking no, about. No, go on. I know what you mean. Ruin yeah. his life. Yeah, and and yeah, yeah, yeah. She's she's poisonous. You know what I mean as a person. So um, I imagine she goes across, uh, strikes up a conversation. And he's like, you know, kind of, you know, twiddling her hair and all that, as you do, as, as girls tend to, don't they? They do that. And she invites him to a yoga, her, her yoga class mm-hmm. and uh, he drops in, oh, well, I'll bring my girlfriend. And then we have that scenario happen right. where he turns up, she turns up. Uh, I don't think he announces he's bringing his girlfriend. He just shows up with, with his yeah. girlfriend. So she, with a girl, with a girl. And I, I think what maybe the angle is, is that, I imagine she's incredibly like she's probably very subtle. She's probably a very attractive girl. What, she attractive? <laughs> is she attractive? Is she attractive? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Phoenix. Yeah, yeah. What? What if she knows her power? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What if he like if he's just not interested and that's so attractive to her because like he's the first person to like say, oh, I'm not really that bothered about you. Maybe he stays in character like Daniel. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I can't talk now, my lady. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> trying to do down with doggy armor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what it. He yeah. comes in his suit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay please ignore the clanking. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah just put so your sword over there, pal. <laughs> that yeah. is funny. No, mm. I, I think maybe to give her a bit of like a. Because she's always winning at the minute, isn't she? This man's after her. Maybe it's like a bit of a, oh, I'm not really interested in you. I just wanted to come and do yoga class. Potentially. And Potentially. That's, and it's all about that. Maybe we change her into a nicer person. Who knows? I just at the moment, I think we've got her in this class with the, uh, what's the what's the guy called? She's took a shine to. Um, so Lance a lot. Harold. Harold. So Harold. Harold Lance. I don't know. <laughs> Harold Lance. <laughs> right. Um, what are two days? And how, how old is Harold? Uh, he's 32. Yeah. All right, bit he older. Was, bit older. He was yeah. born to do battle reenactments yeah. with yeah. him yeah. like that, wouldn't he? Yeah, past his prime. Got a, got a touch of grey and silver coming into his hair. Yeah, still right, in his prime, though. You know, yeah. Looks the part. And um, turns up with a woman who's how old? Mm, 24. Oh. Also a bit younger than. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
Mm. Right. Okay. And um, is she yeah. attractive? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Harold Lance. Of course. <laughs> yeah. <she is. laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, they're 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 doing their yoga together, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, what's her name? Libby Phoenix. Libby Phoenix. <laughs> uh, just saunters across, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, she does like cartwheels over to him, you know what I mean? Just mm-hmm. like show off herself and perfectly lands behind him, you know what I mean? So she, she's like stood up like that and he's downward dog and she's like, your form's off. Mm-hmm. And then puts her hands like on his back and just like fits arbor. around him like a band, you know what I mean? She, she's like, just feel the pressure and release, <laughs> release. And uh, what's the 24-year-old called? Charlotte. Charlotte is just like, just just looking at what's going on mm. and Libby's just looking at her with eyes that are like fire, right? <laughs> so I, th- I think we get a prompt in there because I think that's, right, that's, okay, that's the okay, situation. Yeah. Just remind okay. us what we're working towards as well, Michael, the red one. They knew it was kill or be killed. They knew it was kill or be killed. Yeah. But then the area clash, she's got her hands on Harold and it had to be completed before the new year. And what we mean by that is the removal of Charlotte. <laughs> right, okay. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, okay. So it had to be completed before the end of New Year. Right. Maybe it's November. Give it, give it. So we're, we're at November. Yeah, time pressure. Yeah. yeah. Right, and why? It, removing us or in what way? Is it is it killing her? Is it, what? I don't. I, I, I think her agenda at the moment is like, she, I say she's a toxic person. So that idea of like being, well, if I'm not happy, no one else can be. That's right. the angle. You know what I mean? It's mm. like, it's, it's almost like slightly American psycho. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so it's, it's, it's embodiment of success, but mm. yeah, is playing Susudio really loud. Um, <laughs> <laughs> great song. Though. It is a great song. Um, yeah, and yeah. that scene when they're having sex in the mirror, it's just, yeah, superb. Um, <laughs> it is. It's what a scene that is. I bet you've done that. You've before, got a mirror right? in your yeah. room, haven't you? I bet you're yeah. like that. Yeah, Hand, that tiny mirror. What I'm mad like, it like yeah. blows you up it's as like, well. It's like that big. <laughs> uh, I've not got one of them, Mum. Just before you worry. Um, so they had to be. It had to be done before the end of the year, was it? it mm. She had to be removed before the end of the year. Yeah. Okay. It had to be completed before the new year. It had to be completed. So we've got the option of getting rid of Charlotte, killing yeah. her. Is it? Could it be anything else? Well, I. Uh, I, I don't think she's going to kill. Her. I think she's going to yeah, just take her out of the picture. Kill. Yeah. Right. Okay. It's more about emotionally maiming. Yes. That's what she's yeah. after. Right. Yeah, so I'm going to break them apart. Right. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's his arm needs to be removed by the new year. That's a challenge <laughs> no, to get no, him into I, bed. I think that's right. I think it's about breaking them up. Yeah. And it adds yeah. a bit of, and like why the time pressure on New Year? Like why that? Is it so it's that the yoga thing of like New Year, new me, that sort of like walking into twenty twenty four with a new relationship, new things, mm. positivity. Yeah, she wants that post. Yeah. She wants that post. So she wants to get wants that post with him. January 1st, yeah. New Year starts at home. Mm. Something yeah. like new, that. New, new Year with this one. Yeah. New Year That's with this. Yeah. yeah. And she, it's November. I've, yeah. And she's thinking, I've got to break these up and woo him. Yeah. Because he's not that interested at the moment. Mm. I don't think, I think he's, I think he's, he knows his worth. I think she's he's like, I'm a good looking guy. Mm. She's all about sucking the life out of things. Right. And, and that. You're right today. <laughs> no, but that is, that is, that is, that is, no, no, yeah, no, that is 100% this is, it. Yeah. She is like, she'd be an interesting character to just watch. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Uh, let's say the yoga class has happened, right? And uh, she's obviously give Charlotte eyes. Just, you know, it's like death by a thousand cuts. That I, I, no, I think I think you're being too obvious with her showing that she doesn't mm. like her. I think it'd be more like, oh, great. Thanks for coming. What's mm. your Instagram handle? Right. Wow. Yeah. I've got to tag you in this post. It's been such a great session. Like, yeah. thanks for coming. What is yeah. it? Charlotte. Wow. Y- your form's beautiful. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. She like compliments her on her thigh. Yeah. And why don't you come <laughs> to more? <laughs> yeah. But why don't you come to, oh, why don't you come to more reenactments with us? And that's how she gets to know him. Well, uh, yeah. I, well, I'm just thinking it's, yeah. Oh yeah. It could be like, they met at War of the Roses and then they're at a different reenactment for the next one. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I'm just trying to think of how can, how does she break them apart? That, how does she? That could be the post. Met at War of the Roses, fell in love in the Civil War. Right, nice. That could be it. Go on, go on, Michael. What are you thinking? I, I, I think I think you've hit the nail on the head. I think it wouldn't be that she is like fuck you. She, yeah. she'd be like, you know, I need to be like a Trojan horse, get inside the walls, 
and yeah, then, and then yeah, burn everything yeah. down. That's already yeah. the title. Yeah, yeah. Trojan, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, Trojan bitch. Trojan bitch. Trojan all the clever. Trojan bitch, Rise of the Phoenix. But yeah, so I like the uh, analogy you've got there. Mm. Um, so maybe they keep returning to the yoga class, right? Yeah. Like week on week. She's like, you've had a good time. You mm. should come back. And But she's selling it more to Charlotte. Like, oh my God, like, your energy coming into my um, yoga studio, it's its something, it's honestly taking me back to the Golden Triangle. Mm. I mean, I feel like I'm at the Red Fort all over. It's superb. <laughs> and I just i just think you should keep bringing this, you know. This, everything's in line. You know, Mercury's not in retrograde when you're here, and I think that's positive. Mm. And uh, she's like, oh my God, this Your knowledge is all over the place. You, you're having old loads about something <laughs> or nothing. Yeah, I'm, 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 <laughs> just, I'm, I'm doing a very stereotypical kind no, of like great. whimsical, you know. But uh, so, so... But once again, just getting back to how he... So she's being kinder to Charlotte than she is to... Like, what, what's a plan? How, what is a plan? Maybe it's to make Charlotte think that she's too good for this fella. Ooh. Maybe that's the thing of, like, she, that's how she gets him away back. That is it, right? That mm. is it. She she builds up Charlotte so much that Charlotte would then leave him. Yeah. And then she steps in and just, like, yeah. And, well, not annihilates him, but he's like, yeah. well, now you're mine, but it's you're 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 malleable, like yeah, you manipulate. Have fun. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, he'll be feeling rubbish, won't he? Yeah. Yeah. Right. So she keeps building up <laughs> Charlotte. Yeah. To, to to what extent though? Like, at what point? How how does she do that? Is it through conflict? Go on, Michael. Yeah, I th I think that she probably has a vast array of weapons. Like you know, there there is there is there is building Charlotte up. There is pulling Charlotte down. There's building him up. There's pulling him down um i think a good instigating thing could be like oh oh yeah i live off in hebden bridge if, if you want to come for a walk you're more than welcome this that and the other yeah, maybe yeah. the reenactment was in hebden bridge or something as well so there's mm -hmm. like yeah i don't know i suppose her working in her living in hebden bridge is actually not a barrier if they're no, in the city oh, no 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 uh, it all. can be she needs to learn something about them so that she can american psycho style be in their world a lot more you know right. what I mean? If he works in a certain building, what or if something. she becomes friends with Charlotte? Yeah, you know what I mean. So like they they start doing classes together, mm. right? And there's a bit of a uh, she's looking for an apprentice. Oh about oh about we we can sort of create a solution here. Um, and so she's currently living in Ebden Bridge, but commute into Manchester. The class takes place in Manchester, and that's where Harold and Charlotte attend. Yeah. What about if they are living in like a flat share? And then they're like, oh, we're actually looking for someone to come and live with us. Oh, Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And she, that sort of gets her from Hebden Bridge into yeah. their apartment. Yeah, Do you know what I mean? And then she can mm -hmm. work from the inside out. I don't know. I'm no, just that's good. I like that. Yeah, just like. so we've not got that element of Hebden Bridge in. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I think that can work. I think, or even like, I don't know, her car breaks down one night and it's easier to stay over. Yeah. Than it is. I, I, right. Okay. I, yeah, yeah. I think that. Yeah. Think okay. That. Yeah. So, I'm happy yeah. with that. Um, okay. What car does she drive? What type of car does she drive? Oh, just some clapped out, I don't know, some clapped out old thing. Just gets from me to be. That's how she'd frame it. Right, okay. But it's yeah. a Tesla. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the doors, like phantom doors. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's a helicopter. Yeah. yeah. Oh, let me see, it's nothing. Yeah, you can open it on an app. <laughs> um, okay, okay, so, yeah, so she, her car breaks down. Yeah. Yeah. I think her training Charlotte as well is a good in. That that's like a proper like anchor. Yeah, I think Charlotte's into like, life. I, I, I've always yeah. wanted to be a yoga teacher. And she's like, oh well, mm. I can teach you. And then yeah. just a, just Get, a, just an image that pops into my head. I can just imagine a car breaking down, and then Harold coming on a horse. <laughs> you know, what I mean? he just yeah. can't get out of character. He just loves battle reenactments that much. Yes, but he works in finance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, you can't part that there, mate. <laughs> right. So let's 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 say um, Charlotte's uh, at the studio one evening having a class with. Uh, Libby, right, and one to one or public I, class? I, I, I think one to one. It's right. like they're hanging out. You know what I mean? They're starting to spend a bit of time. So there's, say, there's been a couple of weeks of Harold and Charlotte attending, right? And um, she said, "Look, I can help you with your form on some, you know, on some areas. Um, maybe you should, you know, kind of come by uh, after I finish my last class, and we can, um, you know, work out them kinks." And she's like, "Yeah." You know, almost, almost like what this person is is such a ray of sunshine and so willing. Mm. You know, um, but not realizing you're just walking further into the lair. Um, yeah. So they're doing their um, doing a I don't know what, a sequence. What do you, what do, you do? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So sequence of moves, right? And um, uh, series, series of moves, yeah. And then it's um, Sh Sh Charlotte's like, oh gosh, it's late. Um, I should really be getting back to Harold. Um, 
he's uh, he's he's made a nice meal this evening. And then Charlotte's like, uh, Libby, Libby, Libby goes, um, Lead. Yeah, I'll. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lead an old, yeah, yeah, an old yeah. boar. <laughs> that is, He's an yeah. old one. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> the lady just meet on the table. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. It'd be it'd fucking it'd be like a four floor apartment on <laughs> the balcony. <laughs> 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 that is, that is, what an image. Yeah. Oh, mate. On a balcony as well. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> tripping down the like, stop doing that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think we go with that. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's put on, he goes, it's, it's, it's our date night. He's uh, he's doing a medieval banquet for us. Yeah. Right. Um, and uh, um, Libby, Libby, Libby's like, I'll I'll drive you home. You know, it's late. You shouldn't be walking. And I think she, she, um, has tampered with her car, so yeah, like maybe yeah, she, maybe yeah, she left yeah, the yeah. lights on, and then it's a case of like it drives and it just dies. Mm. Yeah. Can I can I throw a spanner in the works here? Go on. The spanner I'm thinking is that at the moment it feels quite nineties in terms of she's trying to get that like trying to steal a boyfriend yeah. off a girlfriend. What about if there was an element of the toxicity where it was like to get him, I'm gonna seduce her? Well, I was thinking That's exactly yes. what I was where I was gonna. Yeah, go. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So. That's, yeah, <laughs> that's a that's very much a psycho move, isn't it? I'd, it's I put aside my own feelings. I'm just gonna ruin it by doing it. Then. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna seduce Charlotte, make her love me. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. and then try try and get then that couple to try and compete for her, like yeah. individually. Yeah, just throwing. So that what you're saying? And there's 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 a scene with a snogging in the car. Is that what you're <laughs> I, saying? I thought you'd like that. Yeah, tongs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, um, with all and, with all the yeah. beef dripping on them. <laughs> yeah, and Harold's at home. Just turning this pig going, she's taking ages. <laughs> it keeps cutting back to the car. Um, no, I, I like the idea, maybe. What about, this would be a psycho move. So, her and Libby in the studio end up having sex, right? Charlotte and Libby have sex in the studio. <laughs> what? For what? For what? Yeah, yeah. She's, yeah. She's, what? Like, she's like, don't, she's like, don't go. Out. Like, they're checking out each other's form and then just one thing leads to another and they end up having they're, sex they're, in yeah. the studio. They're doing yeah. Down With Dog and their fingers touch. Yeah. <laughs> and <he's Yeah>. like, <laughs> <laughs> That's why I stopped doing yoga. It happened every class. But then, <laughs> obviously, finishes and then Libby's like, oh no, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. Yeah. Harold's yeah. little beacon. She knows it's tight. <laughs> yeah, really. Sh- Sh- Charlotte, Charlotte's like, oh, that was that was a mistake. Yeah. We shouldn't we shouldn't have done that. And there's that sort of like tension. Yeah. Mm. And then Libby's like, yeah. And then a r- and then she goes <laughs> and then she goes, well, what do you want to do? Do you, do you want to go back to him or sh- should I take you somewhere else? Mm. And she's like, yeah, I don't I don't want to go back. Can you take me to my mum and dad's? So Libby takes Charlotte to her mum and dad's, and then she goes to him. And t- says what's yeah. happened. And say, and no, she doesn't say what's happened. She just goes, "Oh, what, uh, Charlotte? She, why is she not here? She came to. I don't know where she is." Blah, blah, blah. But then they're having this sort of like medieval meal together. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? So she's yeah. just shagged one, and now she's after the other. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. I, I think I think the the um the other the other element of a psycho move could be she gets off with one of them. Yeah. She gets off with Charlotte. Charlotte feels guilty. Tells Harold, Harold confronts Libby about it, and Libby's basically like, "Well, why don't all three of us get together?" <laughs> right? Oh, yeah. Okay. But uh, ultimately, is it very ulti- male gaze? This uh, <laughs> yeah, particular yeah, yeah. podcast. <laughs> no, but yeah. what a male solution that is. Yeah. Well, you know, we can all just be together. Yeah. yeah. Well, we've got to, we've got to, we've got to try and make it progressive as well. I think to yeah. sort of add it. So what I'm thinking is, so that happens. He confronts her. What is Libby's ultimate goal? Because I don't think it is to be with him. No. I think, like you said, it is to just create. She's she's, she's like an a, a, an anarchist. Like she, yeah. she's like um, she's like the Joker. You know what I mean? She's she's just wants, she wants to create to. mayhem around her. So mm. after yeah. she with a smile on her face of like. So like after sorry, go on. Yeah, I think I think there's something in theft. There's something in stealing something. Right, and that's. You know, her dad passes away. They always just go to reenactments. She goes to reenactments. She sees this perfect man, but there's a problem, and she's called Charlotte. Right. And I'm willing to go through anything to get rid of Charlotte to get him. So I'll make out with her. I'll make out with him. We'll all make out together, and then I'll slowly dislodge her like a tick. 
Yeah, like that's basically <laughs> that's <laughs> basically where it's where it's going. It's it's okay. It's, she knew it was kill or be killed. That's basically where she's well, aiming. Obviously, right. There's a few more curveballs, whirlballs. Yeah. Well, I, I reckon we get one in now. Yeah. Because that feels yeah. like a nice time. Mm-hmm. I think you just summarised where we're up to quite well there. It was how big? <laughs> no. Is it really? Is that what <laughs> is that he says? Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was your mum who sent that in. Yeah, it was my mum. My mum said that. It was a direct quote, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is, genuinely, I'm not even joking. It was his mum who sent it in. Yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah, that's right, for, that's it, for you, Mrs. <laughs> it was how big? Right. So how do we fit this into the story? Uh, is oh, it? Oh, maybe he's reminiscent about, uh, maybe every year there's like this, Massive battle in France that he goes to, and she and, he, and <laughs> she it, goes. It was how big? Yeah, like, yeah. He's, he's like it's ten thousand people. It was how big? I think leading towards <laughs> a massive. Yeah, he goes to the battle of reenactment in Agincourt. Yeah. 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 yeah, What what is what is the battle reenactment? What is the what is the Hastings? Isn't it battle that's, that's, Hastings? Yeah, battle of Hastings. That's a big one. Ten sixty six. Um, <laughs> what happened at Battle of Hastings? What what is the, the battle? Normans landed and King Harold went down to go and kick off with the French. Is it called King Harold? Yeah, yeah. Uh, King Harold, mm. actually. And the yeah. character's and he, called he Harold. Got a, he got an arrow in the eye and Yeah, died. King Harold, actually. Actually, funny enough, um, he's, he was the illegitimate son of um, Lord Montgomery of France. The Montgomerys went to Scotland, and Melissa's second name is Montgomery, so I could be related one day. Wow, your knowledge is really all over the place. You need loads yeah. about something and nothing at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you know, like, that's why I'm doing the podcast. I see. Yeah. That's, and then to commemorate the battle, they made an insurance company. Yeah. Oh, wait, 100 double O. 1066, yeah. You yeah. killed that little. You supposed to go ten sixty six. Ah, mate. I, yeah, I don't do voice over. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyway, um, right. Yeah. So it was how big. Is it? Is it the fact that is it about a battle reenactment? I think it's too easy to go down the the willy route. The willy route. Mm, yeah. yeah. Well, if it was like yeah, so a battle reenactment's one option. Uh, another one could be yeah, what about guy. what about mm. to bring them into the story, Charlotte and Libby? They perform in the battle reenactment instead of just watching it. Because that's you, she usually just goes to watching them with her dad, mm. but then she Ooh. gets involved and maybe oh, right, it gets right. dangerous. Yeah, like. well, yeah. But I, 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 well, time wise, we're all out. Yeah, we've got like yeah. ten minutes. I, yeah, I'm thinking. I thought the last kill or be killed. Yeah, that's what it says. Yeah, I thought it was. We were going to go down the route of her luring uh, someone to the studio and basically <laughs> killing them, and then it being a case of like hiding the body in the studio, right? <laughs> and which is so ironic in the idea of like you come to a, mm. a yoga studio, it's so peaceful. And coming and like underneath the floorboards is Charlotte or the guy, right? That's one option. Mm. Other option is they do a ghost of the battery enactment, and yeah, I uh, think that creates a, a bigger scenario for to be killed to to kill or be, be killed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and Libby Libby does you know I don't know tips her fucking crossbow or something like that. Not in poison. Yeah, no, no, just like it's got maybe you ever seen uh, Knight's Tale? Yes. Somebody goes. He tipped it. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And he's like a sugar, a sugar fist. Yeah, Imagine yeah, it's yeah. like that, but on the bolt of a crossbow. And yeah, she just does Libby right for the jugular. Potentially, but it's kill or be killed, isn't it? Yeah. So that, yeah, means it, killed, that means that means no, but that means it's like a you, to kill or be killed is if you're in a situation. Yeah, where life or death. Life or death. You're you. you're threatened. So maybe maybe Libby might not make it to the end of the story. She shouldn't have to survive. Yeah. So maybe that's who is who's what's who's the Ooh. girlfriend. Charlotte's the girlfriend. Right. So maybe the Charlotte okay. is the... I've got it. What if Lance, Harold, Harold and Charlotte Lance. cotton on to what's happening, right? And um, they realise this uh, and they lure Libby to the battery enactment and that's where they get rid of her because they're like, we've got to cut this tick out of our life. <laughs> yeah, so she's trying to get rid of Charlotte but them two have conferred and like, oh no, we'll get rid of her. And yeah. what what better way to do it in plain sight than in a battle reenactment where people will think that she's dead. Mm, just like a father. Yeah. Just like a dad. And she dies in the same way as a dad did. Maybe. <laughs> On the, on the is battle. that how the dad died? Actually, he's yeah. like, he, he got a lying, lying there. Yeah, I think yeah. he's died on the battlefield, but pe- but dead early on, <laughs> and for <laughs> hours has been yeah. clinically dead. Yeah. But yeah. people just believe he, like, him I, I, he, had, he had a heart attack. Yeah, you know what I mean. It, like he was running and then just went down. <laughs> and <laughs> <made> that noise. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that's oh. ev- ev- everyone was like, "Oh, it, it must be a stray arrow that's felled our lord." <laughs> and you know, he's he's like on the floor and he's like, he's, he's fucking nailing that. <laughs> this, this literally is swinging from like some sort of like. What <laughs> noir fucking sexy <laughs> crime thriller to like a carry on movie? Yeah. Like it literally is violently <laughs> yeah. swinging. 
was like jump in the air as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I reckon he's just he's been he's been it and he's gone down. Um, By what? As, as I say an yeah, arrow. Yeah, it, it, it's a reenactment, isn't it? So people are it's, people are holding bows like that, fell. just going <laughs> loose, and nothing's going off. But obviously, he's he's, <laughs> he's he's gone down holding his armor. Yeah, and they're like, oh, he's been hit by an arrow, mm. and he hasn't. He's been hit by uh, heart disease. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 and he's yeah. dying. Years of butter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's not had two salads. And yeah, I reckon as he dies, because the other, everyone in character, they like put their swords next to him and go, my lord, <laughs> you're, you will not die in vain. And then carry on in and the he's battle. Going, and he's going, yeah. help me, will you? Deep him. Deep him. Help me. Yeah. <laughs> Think big. We will, sir. We will. Yeah. He can't catch his breath. Yeah. He's like, no, I'm serious. Slow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm dying. Love me Apple Watch. <laughs> <laughs> As well as details. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, my lord, you're up for the actor, actor of the year, my lord. <laughs> yeah, and I reckon as people are fighting, they're like, God, he's really good, him. Mm. And um, yeah. normally they get up and walk off when they're dead, but he's laid down. Yeah. Good for him. He, but he's he, that's how he's died, right? Yeah, yeah. So okay. we've got, let's say, um, Charlotte and Harold. How have they found right, out? Right, that, right. So at this point, at this point, this is where I am. Uh, this is your, this is your point. So at this point, <laughs> she should. Libby's seduced Charlotte yeah. and Libby has seduced Harold, Harold. Yeah. separately. Uh-huh. She thinks that she's got them in her pocket. Mm. Them yeah. two have gone home. Um, she Libby's hoping that them two don't come for her. I wouldn't even think that they would because of the seeds that she's planted. You know what I mean? She sort of like drove that thought between them. Yeah. But if them two actually speak about it, then say, oh, Libby, why don't you come to this battle reenactment? And then that sort of created that element of them two can get their own back on her. Yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you know what I mean? The, the progressive, like we're at the progressive element. Yeah. They've been like, you know, sexuality is a spectrum. Yeah. So yeah, I've, you've kissed a girl, I've kissed a girl, I've kissed loads of boys. You know, that's how it is. <laughs> that's how it is. Yeah. And then, then, then it's like, right, you can come to this bit battle reenactment and then that's their sort of plot then to sort of get rid of Libby on the battlefield, yeah, yeah. potentially. We just need to get in. It was how big in it. So how how do we get that sentence so, in there or what is it about? Um, is it the... I reckon it's a conversation had in the car on the way, right? Mm. And um, she, L- L- Libby's like, so um, I used, my dad used to take me to battle reenactments when I was, when I was a kid. And um, Harold's like, yeah, I've been to... I've been to a few in my time, you know, I've, I've, I've been overseas. Uh, I was actually uh, a crusader um, and I fought, um, yeah, in, I don't know, where was it? Turkey, wherever they fought, you know what I mean? All, all the way down to, um, well, Monday as well, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, there you go. So, yeah, and um, he says, yeah, there was 250,000 <laughs> attending. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Can you imagine? Yeah. 250,000. Quarter of a million. Yeah. Uh, and Quarter of a million people said up for that. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine? And, and, and Libby says, it was how big? Yeah, yeah. And he was, he was like, honestly, it was mental. Yeah. Equal yeah. split. Yeah. Equal split. Was it, it was, Ottomans yeah, versus. Yeah, 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 right. One, two, one, two. Yeah. Remember one. your number. <laughs> <laughs> um, so who's on that yeah. side? Yeah. One's on the right. side. You've got bibs. <laughs> um, yes. he, he did the Battle of 300. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. Yeah, he was there. Yeah, maybe, maybe that was it. He did the, it's the Battle of Throp, Thropoli. Thropoli. I don't, what, what is it? I don't know. I don't it is, know. It's, it's, I'm, a, I'm, it's I'm a tongue Greek. twister, but I'm it is that. Um, I know you don't like him, do you? Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're ruining the yeah. Eurozone. We've actually got listeners in Greece. Uh, so if you know the name of that battle, please let us know. Um, the Mopoli or something? I think, yes, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's a tongue twister. Yeah. Um, but yeah, 250,000. And he, got, he goes, yeah, I was there. 250,000. You ever yeah. seen the film Kingdom of Heaven? Bit like that. <laughs> and um, she goes, it was how big? And then I think they park up, you know, little stewards. Showing them the space. Yeah. With little swords, the point. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Flags. Um, <laughs> and then... Um, Long trumpets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's superb. Oh, they announce everybody like in that episode of The Office when... <laughs> yeah. He has a, yeah. <laughs> They're like... Bruh, bruh, they yeah. are parked in row R. <laughs> yeah. um, so boring. Um, <laughs> and then... <laughs> you are magnificent event. Bruh, bruh, bugle. You are parked yeah. in row. I, I reckon <laughs> the the stage is on a bouncy castle, 
right? So like, right. Do you go to like do a fun run and there's a yeah. stage and they're like, right, if you think you're going to finish it this time, please make your way to the front. There's like a bouncy castle, but it's stable. It's an inflatable castle, but it's not, you're not bouncing on it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's someone like full, full attire, you know, big scroll like that. Mm-hmm. And it's, uh, what's the battle we're doing? We're reenacting. Uh, Hastings, isn't Hastings, it? Hastings, what you said. Yeah. Today... Uh, do you want me to do it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. I can't wait for you to do it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. can someone give me a trumpet, please? <laughs> My lords and ladies, today, today we gather for the Battle of Hastings. 1066, the Normans, led by William the Conqueror, arrived on the shores of Britain. You do do voiceovers. This is yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, They're all really camp, though. For some yeah. All very precious. I'm wearing tights. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, it's progressive. Uh, um, uh, arrived on the shores of England to fight the Brits, the Anglo-Saxons, led by King Harold. Can I please have Normans to the right? Saxons? Yeah, Saxons. Saxons to the left. <laughs> Here I am, stuck in the, <laughs> the middle, middle with you. you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and then, yeah, I think um, I think they, they split off, right? Yeah. And um, I think at that point, he's like, uh, I'm trying to think, would you, would you have your swords then or would you go and collect your weapons? I think he's, I think he's probably yeah. gold dressed. You? you bring your weapon. Yeah, okay. What tool? <laughs> this fucking tool. <laughs> yeah. Just a guy with a hammer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought this was the scam reenactment. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, so I, I think, I think um, someone dressed as a pharaoh. <laughs> oh shit! I got the wrong one. Yeah, that's 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 be funny. Yeah, freezing as well. <laughs> Fucking hell! Yeah, uh, for uh, um, <laughs> So they they split off, right? Yeah. And uh, how many people are there? <laughs> what, what capacity? <laughs> Hello. Oh, I'd I'd say it's nothing compared to the crusade. It's a, it's a it's paltry like... two thousand. You know, <laughs> yeah. it's hardly anything. So it's, it's a thousand down the middle split. Yeah. 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 Right. So it's the fifty fifty chance here. Um, and obviously we, we're going to do it true to history. So are they all on the same team, Charlotte, yeah. Libyan? Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, that's what I reckon. So I think um, uh, they split off and they're at separate ends of what is a community sports field. Right, right yeah. I don't think it's like. Well, it's got to be a hill. Yeah, yeah there's got to be a hill. A hill. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, they're on the top of one of them zip wires. Do you know, like that? <laughs> have like, do you know, you go to a park and it's got a zip wire. It's got yeah. a tiny little mound. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I reckon they're all. Oh, it could just be a hill. <laughs> no, yeah. I, think, I think we need it. To, we need it to be a good hill. Okay, like a decent hill. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, you've ever seen me do the cheese rolling thing? Yeah, chase, yeah, it's yeah. not that. But it's not far okay. off. So, oh, so what, you're talking steep. like a twenty percent gradient. Well, this yeah, could yeah, be yeah. this could be pretty steep. You know, I remember when Barry got killed on his standers off, uh, yeah. off the yeah. Ginny yeah. Butcher. Yeah, it's one yeah. of the hilarious moments of TV. Uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I reckon that the way in which he's killed, <laughs> it was <laughs> Barry. <laughs> How far did he fall? Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. It wasn't even steep. But what I'm thinking is the, to kill or be killed. Instead of it being like it could be the hill could have something to do with it. So what happens in in the Battle of Hastings is there's a feigned retreat yeah. by the Normans. So basically, I think the way if I was Charlotte and Harold trying to do it is when they go to retreat, Libby trips and she just gets trampled. That's right. Just by them two off. repeatedly. <laughs> keep going back. What are you guys doing on that poor yeah. girl's head? Yeah. <laughs> She's a yoga teacher. Yeah. Oh, it's fine. Then. Um, yeah, go. <laughs> And 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 the Normans are led by an Englishman who's playing it with a French accent. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. But he doesn't speak any French. Yeah. Yeah. He's just like retreat. <laughs> Go. Yeah. And th- so that that's that's the case. And yeah, the battle starts. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're having. Oh, this is great. I'm having such a good time. Right. <laughs> uh, talking love. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. It's lovely. What was yeah. the traffic like getting here for you? It wasn't too bad for me. Um, and yeah. Um, Some Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> Shit again! I got the wrong one. Um, <laughs> um, and then the the Normans uh, are led by uh, and yeah, some some guy who shouts, "Je suis Batel." I don't know. <laughs> yeah, 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 go on, go on. Je suis, which is I, I am. am. Retweet. <laughs> <laughs> Je suis coward. And then he he, he runs off. Right? Yeah, and and the rest rest of the um you know frogs follow him. Yeah. Um, right. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you can say. I don't think so either. Oh mate, it's, yeah. it's, it's of its time. For it's of its time. All oh, right, your battle reenactment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah. of its time. So obviously that that came from the we used to flick off the French because they cut the fingers off when you pull back a, an arrow. Mm. I swear right. to God. Yeah. 
Yeah. Right, I imagine call, mate. Yeah, we've got, we've got yeah. French listeners. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not anymore. Um, but yeah, so they, they retreat, right? Mm-hmm. And obviously, at this point, the Saxons are like, we're going to lose. <laughs> Yeah. They go after them, mm-hmm. and are they going down a hill or up a hill? The Saxons are at the top of the hill. So right. when the Normans retreat, they run down the hill. Right, okay, they run down they the hill. They both run down the hill. Okay. Yeah. Right, so they're both running down the hill, and does Charlotte, they've obviously conferred that this is the moment they're going to kill but, or be no, killed. I, but, I th- I, but I think the thing is, is like, at this moment, <sighs> there isn't the, the moment to be to kill kill or be killed that moment hasn't actually been set because there isn't a moment no. between Charlotte, Libby and were they Harold mad? where they're all like, we've got to kill them before they kill us. You know what I mean? If they just sort of trip and fall down a hill, there was no sort of to kill or be killed. Oh, no, but if they literally trip her. They trip her, but where was the... Be or kill or be killed, yeah. Yeah, like, like the moment no... of her knowing, essentially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. there's got to be that knowing of like, I've got to kill them because they're trying to kill me or vice versa. What if... What if uh... Uh, Charlotte uses the line uh, you're a Trojan bitch <laughs> right no. that and that, that that's like she's she's like what she's like we know <laughs> you and your bloody yoga no, I think it's later I think it's later I think later in the battle when they've got into the castle maybe they're on the castle wall and Libby's like pinning Charlotte against and she's like I'm going to push you off <laughs> and <laughs> but they're on the thing is at the start when I said are they on different teams and you said no, no, no. They, they're on the same team yeah I know but it wouldn't have been much easier if they were on different teams and then it was like a battle yeah. and there was that sort of scene between them both right so what she, if just, 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 she's hanging them off the she's hanging her off the she's like I want me, it and Harold's like I need to kill her or she's no, going to be go, killed go on Michael for me I think is there not a symmetry in the fact that when they go to do the retreat Harold or Charlotte, whoever trips her, she falls face first into the mud. Right. Everybody else then tramples over. All the Normans, all of the Saxons. Right. And then because the rest of the battle happens at the bottom of the hill and they look back and it's like, oh, she's method like her dad. Oh. Right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. they were like, oh, they knew it was kill or be killed. Uh, right. I see. I yeah. Yeah. Maybe character. that's where we land. I suppose in character it's kill or be killed. Yeah. Yeah. In yeah. So maybe that maybe it's. Maybe yeah. it's in the battle, it's kill or be killed. Yeah, so because mm. the event she attended with her dad, people she's sort of known by people who attend, and they're like, "Yeah, a dad, yeah. <laughs> a dad did actually die, but she might be doing it because they probably know that he died as well." So they're going, "Yeah, a, a dad used to it. like." Oh, I still don't know. <laughs> yeah. He's still there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's still there. <laughs> He's been just, oh, just skull in a helmet. <laughs> it's been ten years. <laughs> it's been ten years. It's so still... good. Yeah. How's he doing that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they built a block yeah. of flats next to him. But, yeah. That is just oh, an apple watch around a bone. <laughs> uh, oh, so committed. Yeah. He's so good. So hang on, just quickly then. We're having that. The retreat happens. Mm-hmm. They go down the hill. They all follow, right? Yeah. And there is there is a moment where. Um, they essentially they're not letting Libby know that they know, are they? Mm. It's just like yeah. so they um, trip her, trample her, uh, and so does everyone else. Just you know, um, and at the bottom of the hill, the fight finishes. Uh, and is there like the last scene of this? Is it like two people? I imagine quietly just like getting in the car, like Harold gets in the driver's seat and Charlie gets in the passenger seat, heads toe in armor, the doors just shut. And they just kind of like look at each other as if to just be like, "It's kill or be killed." Y- yeah, you, we. What have we just done? <laughs> <laughs> that was a bonkers story. Yeah, they they really go off the rails. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It went so wild. That I, story. I really yeah. enjoyed that. We yeah, had, I enjoyed it, but it went from like a vapid yoga instructor who was like toxic and he was gonna, I don't know, like just be a horrible person, and it turned into some sort of battle reenactment madness <laughs> killing. Yeah, I liked it. I enjoyed it. Well done, man. You. Yeah, oh, yeah, massive well, well done. It was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it was crazy. Did you, how did you find it for the second time? It was good. I think knowing Arnold personally made things easier last time, you know, <laughs> being his caddy. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, weirdly, I think I've... Uh, did the whole affair thing, and like, them having a, that happened in my life to a couple that I knew. They right. added a third person, and then a third person kicked the girl out. That's where I was navigating right. it. So I was like, oh, I've actually hit on it in my own head without realising. So hang on, it was a, a, a two girls, no. A couple, born, yeah. born a girl, and then they invited a third girl in to kind of spice things up, and she 
took over the nest, basically. Oh, oh my God. Oh, How long yeah. did that take her? Not long enough. <laughs> very quickly. <laughs> yeah. Really? Did it involve yeah. yoga? Huh? Yoga teacher? Not a yoga teacher. Oh, no, right. No, no. That would have been unbelievable. Um, no, but, uh, are they still together? Yeah, they're still together. So, you know. That's crackers. I know. It's mad, isn't it? And I, 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 I'd, I'd love to know more about that. Uh, <laughs> that Turn the cameras insane. off. I'll, yeah, I'll yeah, name names. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we'll be back. Uh. Well, uh, just because we sort of touched on a, a name for the story. Well, yeah. did you say you wanted it? I'm, I'm not saying it has to be the Trojan bitch. I just. Well, it goes wrong because the Trojan yeah. the trap doesn't work. She becomes the victim. Right. Um, so um, what if it was like uh, love reenactment? I think because her name's Libby Phoenix, Entrapped, something a play on word with Phoenix. <gasps> the rise and fall of the Phoenix. Well, yeah, yeah, something like that. Rise and fall of the Phoenix. Something a bit shorter, ideally. I think mm. just something within the story that we've had. You know, like um, uh, you mentioned she was like a tick, didn't you? Mm. Yeah, um, the tick. The, yeah. <laughs> I don't think it features heavy enough, the tick. <laughs> it was a great piece of uh, wordplay, though, when you yeah, said it. Yeah. It's launched like a tick. Yeah. Role play. Um, um, what do you say? Uh, like role play, she's battle, battle reenactments, isn't it? Like um, three's a crowd, three, three's a magic number. Like love lap, love lap. It's obviously yeah, smell that live lap, love, live lap, love, li- li- live lap, love. Maybe yeah, that can work. Live lap, love. Yeah, maybe because it's yeah, it's live. Yeah, yeah, live action. Yeah, we're kind of we're basically doing like an evil eat pray love, aren't we? So I think yeah. it's like live lap, love, love. Yeah, I, 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 I'm up with that if you yeah. will. Yeah, yeah. I'm happy with live like love. Yeah. Um, is there anything else to? There's nothing else to really add into it. I I just enjoyed that. Yeah. Uh, it was, it, I, I must. I'd love to know from the you doing it second time around. Just like, is it easier or is it? Um, at points, I think we probably we probably could have used another curveball. Yeah, I think it, it was how big kind of got stuck in the engine a bit. Um, because I think we were doing fine. We had a good destination. And then it had to be completed before the new year. But then this kind of like, I think we all just went dick joke, dick joke in our head. And we were like, we can't just do a dick joke. <laughs> yeah. We kind of swerved. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We maybe swerved a bit too hard. But it is still, yeah, as the, ever, a fun game. There was heavy swerving. There was heavy yeah. swerving. Or curving. Or curving. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But, but shall we wrap it up? Yeah, yeah I think yeah. so. Um, if you have enjoyed watching this and you want to go and tell someone about it, please do. Um, and also, we we say this every week, but um, just give it a share. Um, like, it does make a big difference. And if you want to comment on a video, that would be even better. But main thing is, you're listening. We appreciate that. Um, we're going to have some more details coming soon on a live show that we're going to do in March. So do keep your eyes and ears open for that. And the Patreon as well will be set up very, very, very soon. So you can support the pod and then we will be basically delivering more live shows and upscaling the pod in general. Um, and the giveaway is coming as well. And the giveaway is coming. There's loads to come, yeah. honestly. Come March, we're going to like three Adonises and, you know, you lot are going to be happy. Um, <laughs> so a, a gold desk. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> um, but other than that, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for listening and we will see you next week. Thanks this very is, much for coming on, by the way, Michael. No, thank you for having me. This has been All Made Up. With Michael Mannion. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Thank you. What guys. happened to the cat, Vikram? No idea. Fucking <laughs> 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 hell.